Jojo fam. <laughs> Morning, Jojo fam. Um, it is Saturday at mm -hmm. 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a full day of meetings and workouts and other things. Oh, I'd like to start my morning with this face oil. What is that? It's this Sifa Emerald and it's like a clarifying oil. It's all organic, it has a little bit of tea tree. Ooh, it smells good. So it keeps my like, what's it called? My little sitsabe. You know when you like a little zip zip bit. Nice. Um, we landed last night. Oh my god, our flight got delayed. So late. We got we in at like two. Yeah. Or we got home at like two something. Two forty-five or something. I'm using this little Sonia Dakar Omega Booster. Clearly, I use it a lot. <laughs> it's almost gone, but it smells really good and it's super hydrating. And I thought I'd put on some eye mask while I kind of do everything else. Do you put eye mask on while you do your makeup? Yeah, sometimes if I, like, 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll do this and then I'll, like, do my mascara or something or my eyebrows. Looks fine. Just. Can I have one? Of course. I have gold ones for you. Cool. Kill two birds with one stone. I just ran out of these. These are some of my favorites. I love this thing. Like, I saw a video of Miranda Kerr, how she does this every morning. It's like a rose quartz yeah. like geisha stone, I think it's called. It's just, I feel like it helps me drain. I just feel so puffy when oh, I Oh, you know what's amazing? You have to try this. Hold on. My friend got this for me. This is like a frozen roller? It is roller. a cold face roller. Oh. And it's like, I actually have like heaven. a. I just wish somebody, and if somebody's listening, or we should admit that, um, I want you to be able to take these and the go. Cold ones. Yeah. Because I have something similar at home. Um, it's like a cryo ball. Yeah. You like roll around. Um, I roll, and the cool thing is that the liquid inside is cryo. There we so you can sit and shake it so it, like this stops being cold after a while. Yeah. Oh my god, it feels so nice. It's so nice. The other day I woke up and I was so puffy. It looks like a kid toy though. <laughs> it's like super big and chunky. I ate like ramen one night and it's like super salty. I woke up, my eyes were so puffy and I just sat there and I held it on one eye. You're like, okay. Okay, lip balm is lip balm is important. key. This one I love, it's Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. And I'm just gonna sit and hold I, it. Can't help. For me, it's like I can. I feel like a lot of products removes this puff. Never that puff. Yeah, it's so hard to do that. It's like you can't like really put your. It's so oh, cute. It's My oil kind of goes everywhere. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna do is just like really light, simple makeup since we're. Kind of. Yeah, just like daily shooting shooting. a little bit. Yeah. In general, you don't, do you wear like a daily face? Oh my God. <gasps> oh it man. It exploded in your makeup bag. It in my makeup bag. <laughs> it's too early. Oh, no. This lady does not have caffeinated stuff in her house. Yeah. No caffeine in here. My brain doesn't function without coffee. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little mascara right now since I Oh, actually, no. I lied. Can you use eye mask every day? I don't know. It's probably not bad for me. I find if I use it too high, for me, a good- oh, I thought you meant in general. I don't use them every day. No, I'm, I'm just saying for me, my skin is too sensitive. So it starts like burning a little bit if I use it more than like max three times a week. Yeah. So I'll um, hot water. Okay, I'm gonna start with my eyes. I'm using this Becca and I normally go in with like just a really natural, I already have like, I feel like you have it too, like a natural eyeshadow. Yeah. So I just like to like enhance that a little bit with something like in the brownish, mix these two like brownish and like rosy tones. I'm gonna do my brow with this 
Total Temptation Brow Definer from Maybelline. Hope you guys can see that. I am the color soft brown. Um, I use actually different colors depending on my look, but like on a daily basis, I would say a soft brown, like not too harsh. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if I do my makeup and I want like a look and a strong brow, I'll go darker. Yeah. You use your fingers a lot, a lot to make to makeup. I use my fingers a lot with eyeshadow, um, and I feel like most makeup artists are like so against that. But I why? I feel like when I use my fingers, it just like presses more into the skin and looks more natural rather than like a powder on your eye. Uh -huh. And I like to take my shadow like up into almost my eyebrow to create like a nice. Really? Mm -hmm. So you keep it like square there? Like kind of square in there. And then like I'm learning it, something new every day. And then it kind of goes into your contour. Do you contour? I need a mirror. This is easier. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I was going a little dark in that. <laughs> Should do a no mirror makeup challenge. No mirror makeup challenge? Not even looking at the iPhone, just feeling Nothing. your face. Just like Oh, you know what? Because you are so out. good at makeup, you should do my makeup blindfolded. That would be so hard. To like feel where your ha hairs are. I'm like, <laughs> that would be really. Funny. Or have Chloe one day do my make our makeup. Yeah, she did mine recently, and it was hilarious. She good? She got some skills, or she tried to do liner, and it kind of went south. <laughs> <laughs> Is eyelash curler? What's your favorite part about makeup? Um, it used to be eyebrows before I. I got my eyebrows microbladed because I feel like eyebrow shape is so important. Mm -hmm. um, so now my like favorite thing to do is I think concealer. It just like saves your lives, wakes you up. Would you recommend not microblading? Not microblading? No, I'm saying, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Would you recommend that to everyone? Yes. If you were born with not a lot of eyebrows, I find it looks different depending on sometimes on white tones. Well, you have to go to a good person because sometimes on lighter skin, it can come off red. Yeah. That's not good. But if you do very subtle, it can look like that every day. It's kind Until of... someone wants to bleach your eyebrows. <laughs> then you... <laughs> then you can't. But I literally was born with no eyebrows at all. They started like way out here. And now I have eyebrows. It's technically like tattoo on your face? Yeah. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt? Mm -mm. You, they numb you. Oh, so okay. It doesn't hurt. I was like, it seems like it would hurt. Not at all. Now I'm doing mascara. What's your favorite makeup step? Just brows. I love it. Brows, yeah. Like I just... I used to have like a love-hate relationship with it though. Like I would like do all my makeup and then I would be like, oh, I still have to do my brows. I just think it's because it's like the one thing, if I had to walk out right now and do nothing, brows. Like if I could only have one thing in my pocket. But then if you like brush, brush them, and sometimes it's like you mess them up and it's like, it's like everybody has like a good brow day or a bad brow day. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I just couldn't make it look cute today. That was like one thing at work whenever I would go to work before I had my eyebrows mi microbladed. Mm -hmm. Some makeup artists would make them into like these shapes that I'm like, no, oh, it doesn't match my face. Oh, because like your shape wasn't <laughs> yeah, really there. Yeah, like super round instead of like more of an arch. And now no one can mess them up. <laughs> You're like, they're permanently tattooed on my face. The guy yesterday at work was like, oh my God, did you do your eyebrows before you came to set? I'm like, no, no. tattoo. <laughs> I love it. Mm, that looks pretty good. It's like, I don't want them too crazy, perfect when they're like a day in a day in the life makeup. It's also like seven a.m. Yeah. I don't have like super fierce brows. It's not a Taylor Swift song. It's seven a.m. or something. <laughs> what? Or is it eight a.m. 
What'd she say? Oh, I just cracked. Oh. I, it's crazy to sit here and like, sometimes I just crack crazy. Okay, I will also go into have my City Mini palette. I think it's a great everyday tone. That's a good color for me. That those two I think would be really good for you. They're more like for fun for me. What this is like my gray, gray yeah. world. Where's the roller, baby? Roll away. Oh, <gasps> it's freezing. It stays cold for long. I'm actually it actually does. I'm gonna try and put my makeup up there and then be square. I don't know if that's for me. It looks good. What color are you putting there? Uh, how do you know what colors are called? I am putting the gray one because yeah, this one is too nice to like just a little bit of like shadow in there, like push it up into your brow and then go up. But like not all the not way. Not all the you way. Need it's this. literally just near. Huh. You know who I saw that from? I think it was. I was watching either Shay's YouTube and makeup. Ariel. It does her makeup. Mm -hmm. She's doing it. Or no, maybe it was makeup by Mario. Kim Kardashian. Someone was doing. You're you like, know, and you love the effect. I think it was makeup by Mario, and he was talking about how he does Kylie's makeup, and he like pushed it into the brow. I don't know. Someone would know, but. Yeah. It's so nasty when they're like done. Okay. Would you say your process process of doing your skin is longer almost than doing your makeup? Um, I Are mean, I think it's more important because then the light makeup lays nicer on your skin. Mm -hmm. And then I have this eye cream from Dr. Barbara Straw. Straw. Okay, so everybody has been talking about the, those products, and I just got some in the mail. I really like some of them. And she sent me like a bunch of stuff and everyone DM me because I put it on my story. Everyone's like, mm. oh my God, those are like the best products and I get to use them. People love them. I mean, this one, I, it's same thing. I, it's so fairly smart. new for me, but I got it recommended by my, right one of my facialists from LA. It's a beauty sandwich. <laughs> and uh, I, I struggle with like being super dark under here. Um, just from traveling, I think sometimes we're dehydrated and stuff. So this one is brightening and I've been using it for about a week now and I feel like it's helping. Yeah, I want to try using all the products. It's also cool. She has like a line for darker skin tones. Really? So it helps with like pigmentation and stuff. That's awesome. It stinks a little bit. Like I need, there's like a little bit of like a, but I guess that's a good thing. Cause I'm not like the candles. Yeah. Then I do like Pond's face cream. I think it's a great face cream. It's like old school. Easy to buy, find everywhere, CVS. It's just heavy, because I have this like in between dry. It's cool. Okay, so I'm missing all my makeup. Did you not prep for this video, guys? I want to use my mask. Please hold. <laughs> my wild Jazz is trying to figure her life out. Um, my next massage tool is this little guy. And it's actually really awesome because it's like creamy, but you can like, I don't know if you can hear it, but it like buzzes. So it really like takes the moisturizer into the skin. Like a vibrating little tool. Dude, Alex thought, it was like, why do you have a vibrator on your makeup bag? I was like, it's not a vibrator, it's a face tool. <laughs> Those things are cool. Okay. It's like, it kind of like, I mean, I've been told it shakes the foundation and uh, the cream better. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, for my next step, sunscreen. Cannot live without sunscreen. This is one of the few ones I don't break out from, from because I feel like a lot of sunscreens. What is that one? It's called El Elcha MD. Never heard of it. It's like a doctor sunscreen. Doctor, doctor. Doctor, doctor. And then I like to, when I'm on a daily, don't really want to wear foundation, but just want a little layer of like consistency. Something. I mix the two. So here is my Fit Me foundation. I'm a 220. Well, I shouldn't be totally, but I want a little bit of warmth. Little, little bit of warmth. I have like no voice. It's still like so raspy for me. I'm using this Le Mer 
reparative face sun lotion, SPF 30. Oh, and where am I coming out? We eat too much, too much. Happens every day. I also love this sunblock because a lot of times with like dark skin, it leaves like a gray or bluish tone in the sunblock. Oh, because Whereas, I get that like, white filter. Yes, kind of. exactly. That's what I mean. And this one doesn't. Okay, now. Let's see. Sunscreen is so important. Like literally every day, winter, so summer, just. Important. I don't have my tray down here, so I'm just gonna clean this off, disinfect it. A little bit of this Giorgio Armani from my silk. This one is number eight point five. Oh, you got one of those little brushes. They're so cute. They are cute, but I just started using it, and I don't know if I love it. So I feel like it almost smears the foundation, like. I actually used to like them a lot, but like contour and stuff mm -hmm. but I find when I want a natural look I like to just massage it into my skin so I feel like my skin texture comes through you could legit be a makeup artist if I was in a model I, I would love to do that I mean I prefer doing my makeup for like even most like events and everything and you're also so good at it thanks I feel like you're getting good I'm getting there. You're teaching me well. Okay, when I'm on the go and I'm lazy, this is both my concealer and my contour. What is that? What? It's like concealer a concealer and contour. Are there two sides? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It has like a white side to it. I actually really like it. It's a good like none too white. What's it called? God. Master Contour by Face Studio Maybelline. Do you like powder? Is powder your friend? Face powder? Mm -hmm. Um, yes. I actually love powder, especially under the eyes, around my nose, and in my chin. Yeah. I don't like it anywhere else, though. I have to put a little bit right here because my T-zones get super shiny. Look at my forehead already. Yeah, like mine is shiny. my T-zone as well. Concealer. These palettes are the best, so I'm gonna use this. Just cover any spots that I have. Oh, spot up here. I thought it was a mosquito by the first, so I was just telling myself it was. But it was not. It's that time of the month. Go on. Same. I love how we're synchronized. So cute. I feel like we're always synchronized. In everything we do. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like so tired still. Oh. Also weird because we got we flew in from New York, so we like kind of slept in the plane for a few hours, and then we had like another few hours here, so it was like a broken up night. Yeah, with little naps. Okay. Little naps. Then. While I let my foundation kind of sink in, I like to do my lips. I like this little lip contour because I find I have a fine color, but my upper lip does disappear a little bit. I don't yeah, just the same. Kind of. So this is Color Sensational 130 Dusty Rose. Oh, isn't that the hottest? Dusty Rose, yeah. Hottest little girl. That's such a cute name. I'm sure she got her name from Maybelline. <laughs> exactly, because she was sitting here like looking <gasps> She's at like, oh! Those duos, just kidding. I like it because it's pretty similar to my lip tone. So it just adds that little. Okay, now I'm quickly going to do a little bit of. Oh no. Oh, I it did scared. everything explode? No, it's just everything because I was in New York yesterday is in my other bag. <laughs> so. I just like to use this as like a slight lip stain and then I'll just put like lip balm on top make the whole thing. 
don't really need much on an everyday basis. What do you think? Such a good color. Right? Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna contour a little bit. I'm mixing these two colors. One is super dark, but again, I just left them upstairs. So I like to use these guys with, for my contour, because, I don't know. Use them, little spongy, spongy guys. Sponge. Keeps it clean, because I tend to like break out here, so if I don't change these a lot or get enough of washing them, then I end up breaking out. So I like to use Evie, Evine, how do you say it? Evine? Yeah. No, it's not Evie. Evie. Oh, Evine. Evine. A little water spray and you just kind of wet it. And again, back to my, oh. Nice, nice, nice. Like, back to my contour stick. There we go. A little nose contour. Nose contour is always a good idea. All right. Now I'm gonna do my cheeks using this Bobbi Brown number three, AKE. This one is a little bit pinkish. So it's nice. What I like about watering these down is that again it keeps it and dewy. Yeah, dewy and also like I get a little bit more see-through. Yeah. So it's not so heavy. And then we just try it to be light, light layers. It's not too. Normally we would sit here and do daylight, but it's still too early for purple light, so. Yeah, it's a little blue out. Do. Do. that. Okay. Oh, I just touched your jelly things. <laughs> and I didn't know I was touching it. This makeup bag has got to go. Yeah, it's actually a little gross. Okay, one of my favorites, Charlotte Tilbury. This is a Pisa. Pisa. I've never been to a Pisa. One time. For like a shoot. This one's just so pretty and so glowy. I like to put contour down here because it gives the illusion that I somehow have a shirt tour line, which I don't. I'm the softest person. And I'm like, you have a good jawline. It's like I think yours is more than mine. Really? Yeah. Even more like mine has this one. Well, also yours goes more straight and mine goes more like. Um, mine goes like. Does that mean I have a square face? How do you know what your face shape is? You're like a nice oval. I'm like. I'm definitely an oval. All right. Put it at the nose. Stop it from being seeming too long in pictures. A little bit of highlight. This one is Bobby Brown. Pink glow, honestly, one of my favorites. It gives like such a pretty natural highlight because I'm not a fan of highlight. You're not a fan of highlights? No, I hate when it's like too shimmery. I prefer wet highlights. Like, I see what you're saying. Are you like a highlight on your nose? Yes. Like, I don't know. I just like when it looks kind of like sheer, like no real. You know, one thing I have a hard time with is, you know, not when makeup artists are good at like making your nose like more mirror. Yeah. I don't know. You have a hard time with it? I just don't know what the hell to do. How to make that happen. You just draw the, like, you, so like now you can see your nose is super narrow in here. It's too narrow, right? No. But then you just bring it down. In, like that. in a little bit. Here? A little more, like on the bridge. That's how you make your nose narrow. So you, you're creating the lines there. It's all illusion, you guys. It's all, all fake. All illusion. Yeah. Oopsie. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> sure. No, it was actually good. Why is my lip? Ooh. And then they have another double stick that is highlighter and blush in one. And it's again, it's Ooh. dewy. It's shiny. It was from like the Maybelline collab with Puma, so it's like sweat proof. But I actually really like it. It's, it's such a good, like, again, see through glow. 
Okay, now I'm gonna add bottom mascara. You're not a bottom mascara person, right? Well, actually, most times I'm not because like it does not good. Like it just it transfers me for some reason. I don't know my, if I'm as sexy, as excessive, excessive, excessive yeah. skin, or if I'm too like sweaty or what it is. Because every mascara I work with transfer except Hyper Curl, Maybelline, and Snapscare are really really good I think ones. I've used that one. I it's like the bottle looks. Really nice. You just can't be in rainy water because Snapscare comes out of water. If it rains outside, it like. But most mascaras don't really handle rain really well. A little bit more top mascara. So far, so good. Now onto my little lips. Not little lips, but lips. Also for day daily stuff, I like a slight brown mascara. Um, this one is. It looks much S softer. One oh five. It just yeah, it's an S harsh. For my skin tone. Okay, lippy, 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 where are you? Also, on a daily basis, I don't curl my eyelashes too much because, again, mine are naturally pretty curved. I'm obsessed with curling my eyelashes because I don't have any. You don't have eyelashes. Mine just are naturally pretty curled. So, on, if, if I want to go out, I curl them because then it's like, bam. Okay, so I'm gonna do my lip now, and do you, do you think you do the same steps, the same rotation every time? No, I use different products every day, but like... No, I'm saying like, do you do, do you go from like brows, eyes, like the no. same step you did today? No, normally I'll like have my eye mask on if I'm doing eye mask way before I even start my makeup, so then mm -hmm. I like to start with foundation. Lips. That's a problem. I mean, this is actually a little bit more makeup than I would naturally normally if I'm doing no makeup makeup, but it's because we're doing meetings. So. Just adding a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna powder before I do. I actually thing. like days where I just do my face, and brows, and lip, and no mascara. Like the eye is what take it to like the makeup look and not makeup look. I think. I agree. I'm using this Mac Prep and Prime. This is really good powder that like is just kind of making my skin. Oh, this is my Fit Me powder that I've used in Europe the whole time, so that's what I use. God, I only well we already talked about this too, like the tea zone. Mm -hmm. I don't like it in here. Look at that glow. Oh, it's really pretty. Glowing, shining. And she's like, I don't like glow, but look at that glow. <laughs> no, I don't like other glows, but like, like. You don't like I shine. I want to like a seamless glow. It just looks like skin. Okay. Now my lips. This is where it gets tricky because my lips are two different colors. My top lip is like brown and my bottom lip is pink. So I have to even them out. So I always use this Marc Jacobs and I think the name is wrong. No. Oh, Coco. Oh, Coco. This one was given to me by, I shouldn't do that. One of them. By one of our makeup artists that we love. Uh, then for a little bit of highlights for me, again, I like glowy stuff. I have a strobe stick. The matte, the new master strobe stick by Face Studio Maybelline. I really shouldn't have just pulled that with my tooth. Now my tooth is like, It just mm -hmm. evens it out. That's a really good color. It's so good. It's like the perfect even or outer. Even or outer. Look, if you put a little highlight on your lip. Yeah. It's pretty. And then a little bit on the tip of the nose, but not much. Okay. I'm just trying to look like scriber information makes me look like. <laughs> I want to know what app she uses. It's a fucking miracle app, and I need it. I know, right? No, I broke my powder. Well, time to find a new one. Okay, so now I'm kind of like contouring my lip a little bit, kind of how Joe did. To it, like, I feel like when you your lips are similar tone to your skin, it just looks flat. 
this kind of lifts it up almost like 3D, I feel. So it looks a little bit more powdered. You just go like right above the little, not really overlining, it's just over the little hump through there. Like the, what's a cubic spell? Yeah. The arch? Yeah. They just soften out. Mine is super sharp. So for me, I like to like kind of like, like you're saying, like round it out. Yeah, go over a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then on the inside, you always like bring it in so your lips don't look like fish. Getting there, getting there. I think I'm done. I think I'm done too. Half it is. How long would you say if you like, could you do your talking? <laughs> yeah, could you do your, this is like morning makeup, slow process. Or would you say you could get do your makeup in like 10 be at the door? I could do your makeup in probably six minutes. Yeah. Like foundation, mascara, mm -hmm. like all that. I could be done in six minutes. Because it's, it's just, you just do it. Just do it. There you go. And then this is also stuff you can like do in the cap on the way to set, to, from set or to an event. Because again, our beauty kits are like pretty mobile. You look so pretty. You look pretty. I honestly feel like lips, once you have on your lip. Do you think lip maybe is more because now you have brows? Concealer. Concealer. The lips. All right, cool. So now we have a day in LA. Do, do, do our stuff. things. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you do for hair? Do you just air dry it? Or yeah, my hair is, I washed it yesterday, so my hair is like a little bit crazy right I now. I washed it this morning. In it. You're still wet. If I get really lazy, I just let it be. But it didn't get so dead straight. I'm gonna be bun life today. Bun life. Bun life is the fun life. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned for my bun merch. <laughs> bun merch. Bun life is the fun life. All right, bye.